how can I create a window with Mel? This is really pretty simple. Let's go ahead and open up our script editor. And what we're going to use is the window elf command. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up some help on it so that you can see all of the flags that are available. So I'm just going to type out help window because that's the command we're going to need. And then I'm going to hit control enter. So let's go ahead and execute that and look up here in our history pane. So here we are, the synopsis window with the flags and its name that we're going to give it at the end, which is going to be in the form of a string. And then we've got uh, the flags that are available for it, the short name, the long name, and what type of parameters are expected with each, so what data type. So is it going to be an integer, is it going to be a string, are we looking for on, off, etc. All right, so in this very quick example in making a window, what I want to focus on is going to be width and height. Now, obviously, we can specify a width and a height independently, but I'm going to tie these two together, then just feed two integer values to specify what the width and the height is going to be. The next thing I'm going to look at is going to be the title, and basically this is just going to be the title that will be found in the title bar of the window itself. And then we're going to spend just a second and talk about visible. So let's go ahead and create a window. So we're going to start out with the elf command, window. And then I'm going to use the short name, dash WH, for width height. And let's say 300 pixels wide by 500 pixels high. Sounds good. Now let's go ahead and give this a title. Now you'll also notice that I'm going to be using short names for all of my flags. But if you're completely new to starting with Mel, I highly recommend using the long names because it will make it a lot easier for you to go back through, look at your code, and recognize what it was that you were trying to do, in case you may have forgotten. All right, so the title, title bar is going to contain something like my cool window, not windows, window. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and spend just a second and add a visibility in there, a visibility flag. So with the visible flag, I'm going to set it to true, and I'm going to talk more about this in just a second. And then finally, I'm going to put a string here at the very end that is going to designate the name of my window. So this will be the actual object's name, and we'll call this my window like such. All right, so with that, let me just go ahead and highlight this so we don't lose it from our input pane, and I'm going to hit Control Enter to execute, and I immediately get a window. It's as simple as that. You'll notice that the window is indeed 300 pixels across by 500 pixels tall, and that the title is My Cool Window, just like I specified down here. Now, if I close this window out, this will completely delete the object. So the window object will be gone. So let's go ahead and close that out. And let's talk about this visibility flag down here. I keep calling it visibility, but it's actually the visible flag. Generally, I do not use this flag. I like to create my window in memory where it is not visible and then populate it with all of the controls necessary to give myself a functional UI. And then when I'm done, I show the window so that if you happen to be working with a video card that's a little bit slower for whatever reason, you won't see the UI draw out. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how we can use the show window command along with the window elf command. So let's go ahead and remove this visible flag out like such. Now if I execute this line, so let's go ahead and highlight it so that we don't lose anything here from the input pane, control enter, the window is indeed created. We can see the result fed back up to us here in the history pane is result, my window, meaning that the object now exists, but we don't see the object. So how can we make this object visible? Well, we can turn around after we create all of the different buttons and sliders and other things necessary to make that UI a functional UI for our users. At the very end, what we need to do is a command called show window. Now, the last window that was created will be the window shown if you execute show window by itself. But it's just kind of a good habit to get into specifying the window that you would like to show. So in this case, I'm going to tell it show window my window, where my window is the name of the window that I just created. Now I'm only going to execute this command, so let's go ahead and highlight that. Now, when I execute it, this window here, my window, exists in memory, it's just not visible. So show window is now highlighted, I'm going to hit control enter, and look at that, the window is now visible. Now you'll notice I can come in here and I can adjust its size. I have a minimize, a maximize, a close. Spend a few minutes and take a look at all of the different flags that are available. You have a lot of control over that window. It's just like a regular window in Microsoft Windows. So if we wanted to do things like 
turn the title bar off, we can do that. If we want it to control if it's sizable or not, we can do that. So again, just spend a few minutes, look at all of the different flags that are available, and then play with it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this particular How Do I video. Thanks a lot.